Uh, this is Ogi with 4K Shooters. I'm at the Canon stand with Paul, who's going to talk to you about the brand new Canon XF 705. Hi there. So this is the, the new member of our XF family, the 705. This is the replacement for the XF 305, uh, which has been around since 2007. Um, what you have here is a 4K UHD camera, uh, also capable of doing full HD. Uh, but slight difference on this one, this is the first to the market of a professional level camera that uses H.265 compression, HEVC. The upshot of that is that we can now record that 4K HDR image direct to SD card on board in 422 10-bit. We can also output that through either a 12G SDI or through an HDMI connection at the back here. We can simultaneously record an HDR and an SDR and adjust the gain up or down depending on which is your preference so that they match out so you get two lots of film, uh, two lots of footage with no extra workflow needed. If you want to follow the traditional workflow for HDR, we've included Canalog 3 on this. That's the first time outside Cinema EOS that we've done this. Three rings uh, control on the lens with a 15 times optical zoom with uh, five axis image stabilization, fully customizable with uh, assignable buttons and functions more than I've ever seen on an XF camera. Um, even down to things like splitting the audio. So there's a one XLR at the front, one at the back. The one at the back is perfect for a radio mic and there's a bracket there for a third party accessory. So overall, a complete package for news, documentary, feature and content. So okay, first on the market for a whole new uh, codec for us at a professional level, HEVC. Sales start is around about December and we're estimating around, around 7,000 euro, 6,999 uh, on launch. If you're at IBC and you want some more information, please come down and see us. We'll be pleased to show you full features on the camera. Yeah, so uh, it's not just about cameras, obviously. Um, our prime range is well known. Uh, it's uh, an addition to bring us up to seven now in the range. And it's a 20 millimeter T1.5 uh, cine lens. Fits perfectly between the 40 and the 24. Uh, it's again, like all the primes, it's a full frame capture. So on the 700 FF, for instance, it is a 20 millimeter. Obviously in the 700, then you have a, a magnification factor to take into account. So this brings us our, our Cine Prime range up now to a, a seven lens lineup. Sounds great. And again, it's a color match with the rest of the lineup. Absolutely, yeah. The way that they do it, you, you know, if you want to see any color shift between these or the zooms, then you have to get very scientific on it. Uh, you, you're just not going to see any difference at all. And I think there's also some news relating to Netflix about yeah, your cameras. Now part of the Netflix Technology Alliance. Um, we have four cameras that can be used on Netflix productions, the 700 FF and the 700, the C300 Mark II and the C500. So they're all part, of, it's, there's lots of information out there about how this affects program makers uh, and what we're needed to do as far as uh, manufacturers are concerned. So us and other manufacturers of equipment, uh, we're all gonna be working towards a common goal of, of making sure that the equipment we're making for content makers is meeting the needs of the content demanders. Sounds great. Thank you very much, Paul. Have a good day. Thank you.